Hello audience of mine, faithful, the uh, few, the proud. <laughs> um, gosh, let's see, I wanted to make a video today not knowing exactly what I was going to talk about, but um, it's definitely relevant and it's something that I feel like we need to discuss as a society, as a people who... <laughs> claim that they have brains or free will or anything or care about what's going on around them and I figure um, people who are interested in the field of cryptozoology I know myself I go all over the map I'm you know I'm I'm a Christian obviously but I I explore topics like cryptozoology but UFOs um, demonology uh, covered up archaeology and history etc etc but the one underlying thing but Another thing also is psychology, sociology, mind control, and everything is connected. Uh, I guess, I, you know, it is because um, the kind of person that will investigate the topic, any topic, to discover whether it's true or false is the kind of person that I'm interested in. Not the kind of person that makes a, an opinion about something or judges something and then doesn't follow it to its root where there's uh, an arrival at a satisfactory answer caused by logic, data, research, and reason. Now, we are at a time in society where logic, reason, work, hard work, ethics, morals, goodness, truth, are all looked at by the mainstream media and by modern culture as the enemy. And not only is it, um, I mean, it's openly, a pe good people who are trying to actually make a difference are openly lied about in um, the media. Um, and then there's like open lies, like ridiculous lies that are just parroted and then reinforced on late night comedy shows the media, yada, yada, yada. Well, how does a society get to be to be that way? How did Nazi Germany happen? No, I mean, not, I mean, Germany was filled with good Christian people. People, most of people would never want to exterminate women and children, you know, torture them and starve them to death. I mean, how do you really think about all the things that go into what happened with the, with the Nazis. How does that happen? Do you ever just stop and think about these things? Does anybody anymore stop and think? Uh, I don't think so. No, they don't. And as a result, we're going to have, we're going to be flushed away and we, we really, if you're honest with yourselves, we deserve it. Okay. Because where does vir virtue and honor and justice and valor come from? It comes from love. And what is real love? Real love cares more about other people than it cares about yourself. And it's a large amount of sacrifice and hard work and dying to yourself to achieve something that is greater than you. And people do not want to look hard at what's going on around them, even if it means complete fucking utter destruction and annihilation of the species and children. They don't give a shit. You know why? Because at the end of the day, they have to look in the mirror and they have to say to themselves, they have to ask themselves, how did I let this happen? How did I fail? Why didn't I read a damn fucking article? Why didn't I read a book? Why didn't I care? And now I don't give a shit that everyone's going to die now. I don't care. I don't care. They, they won't even get to that level of thinking. Now think about why uh, America was the way is the way it is now. Think about how America is and was the only country where a, 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 the poorest freaking downtrodden immigrant from some dirt bucket flea bag ridden rape uh, slave driving third world hellhole society country can go, come here become a citizen and come from that from nothing to a multi multi millionaire um, the freedom where we can say what we want in the press where we can worship how we want to where does all that come from again it comes from love and where do you get, think about how 
okay, so the people who founded this country were Christians, right? And um, they came over here on, uh, from England, um, not just because of the taxes and the crown and the invasiveness of that, which, by the way, we put up with so much more right now. So much more. And they sacrificed, every they went into an unknown continent filled with unknown people, unknown terrain, unknown animals, unknown everything, taking their families with nothing, with their chi little children, with just their small bag of goods, knowing that they were going to have to bury some of their children to come over here because they wanted to worship God the way that they saw in the Bible, the way Jesus said to worship God, not some stupid fat piece of shit fucking guy that's wearing a crown so therefore he has the authority to tell you how you should worship God and you have to go through him to pray to God and you have to go pay his taxes and, and do how he says for you to be forgiven and go see God all of that is a fucking bullshit lie and guess what people love it people love it but no, 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 not everybody. Some people will look in the mirror and do the hard work and say, where have I failed, God? I am an imperfect person. I have all these problems. I have all this pain. I have all this anger. I have all these issues. But please, I'm so sorry. I'm a broken vessel. Please use me. I want to do the best thing. I want to do what, what Jesus did for me. I want to do for other people. The way is very, very, very few. But yet we live in a country that was founded on those principles that made it possible for the, the modern day freaking idiot kid millennial slob asshole who just thinks he's got everything coming to him for free it's such a stark disgusting contrast I don't even have words for it anymore but again again how did we get here and why are we even talk how is this even a fucking debate is because the average Joe woman and man out there just puts their head in the sand and looks the other way until he wakes up one day and he finds his children are being ushered out of his house and lined up and have to go be carted away somewhere in a fucking concentration camp and get their brains goddamn blown out but you guys don't care do ya because you wake up and you watch your stupid football oh wow let's watch a bunch of men chasing a stupid little ball around and forget about like how our country's being destroyed it's just, yeah, it's so disgusting. You know, I took a break off of Facebook and everything for a week because I had a lot of serious, serious problems that I have to deal with. Otherwise, I will, you know, my life will be ruined. I know that I uh, operate out of a center of uh, pain, which causes a lot of anger in my daily life, and that I have to get myself under control. I know that people have treated me seriously wrong, that I've been abused, I've been kidnapped, I've been all sorts of things that are legitimate complaints for me to walk around with a fucking grudge on my back and be angry and just, you know, opt out and, you know, not care. And, you know, maybe God, he did make me in a way where I like, I don't mind confrontation, I don't mind, um, pointing out to people things like, so I, n nobody is like this. Nobody has, you know, and I'm not saying it's wrong. I, I know that I've been, you know, I've gotten in trouble because I'm like this. I like, I like to fight even sometimes, but most people cannot, like, they're afraid to tell people what they really think, or they're afraid to tell the truth, or they're afraid to have confrontation even with their loved ones, you know, so they'll just have passive aggressive. They'll just like harp, you know instead of going to their husband or their wife saying, you know, it really bothers me when you do X, Y, Z, they'll just keep it inside. And I just, <laughs> I can't, you know, relate to that. But, um, my point is, is that in order for me to do what I must do to serve the Lord and to raise my girls right, so they don't make the same mistakes that my mom did, that I did. The reason why I, I suffered so much and, um, is because at the end of the day, you have to admit how much you need God, how much you, you're you broken and you need God in every single way possible that the thing that you are, it's not you're flawed and it's not like, I, how do I explain this? It's not like, it's not like it's my fault the things that happened to me, but my response is my fault. 
and I know that trying to read all the psychology books, trying to do, solve things my own way is not going to help anything. It's going to make it worse. It's just going to recombine everything and funnel it into something that at the end of the day will not stop the cycle and will get me in jail or not be satisfying enough to my soul. Um, so I have to say, God, you know, I am sorry for where I fall short. Use me, please. I, I, am, I have so much despair and suffering, sometimes so much pain that is overwhelming. I don't know how a person could, could function the way that I feel sometimes. It's so, it feels so bad, you know, and I know people out there can relate to that. You know, you've had people die that you're close to, that you love. You've had... You've had to witness somebody, you know, waste away a wife or a husband or a child, waste away and die, divorce, all these things, you know. There is still not a reason for you to, to take what's going on around you to save society, to save America, to save your family. But it all starts with your ego and your pride and you just not saying... I am broken, I need to be fixed, and there's no way in hell that I'm going to do it without the grace and mercy of God. Because at the end of the day, like we're, who Jesus ministered to was a prostitute, tax collector, murderer, the thief on the cross. Jesus didn't do anything wrong. And the thief on the cross told him himself, he's like, you don't. How, how do I be with you? You didn't do anything wrong. And, and Christ said, you'll be with me the same paradise. It's just that simple, but you've got to admit that you're a sinner. And then there's freedom because um, love really is the only antidote for any kind of evil. But love also means justice. I don't know why you guys are so afraid, and I mean, you guys generically, you have to protect innocence, you have to get up and do what's uncomfortable for you to save the world, to save your children, and I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating the importance of this, I'm, there's nothing, I mean, I'm underplaying it, I, I, so I really need to explain how important it is for you right now to figure it out, get your family together, Make sure your family stays together. Do what it takes for you to stand up against all this evil. What will it take? Follow it to its root. And that's all. I mean, you know, I'm sorry if this is TMI, but honestly, you know, I missed my opportunity to go out with Linda Godfrey last week because everything in my life was exploding. You know, let's be honest. I am not a perfect person. But we can all change the world together if we just get real okay get real I'm not a fake fucking I'm not see sorry I'm not a fake Christian I have problems I have faults and so do you going to church on Sunday and wearing your little nice shiny hat and shoes doesn't make you any less of a of a prostitute or a whore because at the end of the day we're all whores we're all prostitutes we're all that sinner that Christ came to save. And if you try to to, to, not, to not to deny that, then shame on you. You know what? Lucifer fell because of his pride. I am <laughs> nobody special, okay? But I am at least I'm not a you know, one thing is I'm not afraid to to be on this video to to say these things. So there, if anything, there's that. But I'm just telling you, you have this power, too. Like, you have the power to, to make your own reality, but it's a strength through God that you're going to do this. So if you're interested in cryptozoology and getting to the bottom of how and why things are the way they are, then you should not stop. If you're not satisfied with the way society is, what are you going to do about it? Because no one else is, okay? No one else will. And um, that's all i got to say. I don't know, like, it's not like a report or anything, maybe it's a sermon, I don't know, but I just pray that God uses whatever I've got going on here to um, help. Um, we got to mobilize, we got to get together, we got to fight the current world system. How much of a rebel are you? You think that, uh, you think that you're different? Well, prove it. 
God bless you guys. Love you.